Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I am going to be unboxing the Lush Kitchen subscription for October 2020. And I believe that this box is Halloween themed, so I'm super duper duper excited. If you are unfamiliar with the Lush Kitchen subscription, this is a subscription box from Lush. Um, so it has bath bombs, bubble bars, lotions, gels, all sorts of products. It is not a kitchen subscription. Lush Kitchen is a division of Lush where they can come up with like newer scents and things like that. But this subscription, tends to have exclusive scents. Some of them are retro scents that are no longer available, and I think sometimes they may have new scents as well. Now, this box is based out of the UK, but they do ship worldwide, so you pay in pounds. So it's 35 pounds a month, and then it's 14.95 pounds to ship it to the United States with a total of 49.95 pounds. I paid around 66 dollars and 54 cents us um for this you know there's like an international fee when you purchase like this um and then also the exchange rate fluctuates so it can be a little bit different each month now you get about four to five exclusive products in this box and they are based off of subscriber vote so each month i think it's like on the 24th or something like that you get to go out and vote between different scents or products that you would want to have in the box and based on that vote that um determines some some i don't know if all but some of the products in this box now i'm going in this from the lens as somebody from the us unboxing this so i always take the products try to find something similar on the website since they're obviously not for sale right now um and try to get a comparable uh, like retail value so that you can kind of see whether or not it would be worth the money for you. But anyway, we can go ahead and start off with this super adorable little card up top that says trick on it. I absolutely love that. And then this is the October box. And I'm gonna be honest, like this looks so Halloween and fun. I'm so excited. So they do give you the menu on one card, which means you get everything that's in the box. They also have another um, card that tells like all the ingredients for each of the products and everything in here is supposed to be vegan. Okay, so the very first thing that I'm pulling out is a body wash or shower gel. Um, and this is the Demon in the Shower shower gel. Kitchen exclusive, obviously, because this scent isn't around um, for normal purchase. So it says, snap your senses to attention with invigoratingly minty washes. Fresh apple and warming clove will leave you ready to face whatever is around the corner. So I love the little like green shower gel on this. I'm super excited to smell this. Ooh, I like that. Now, I'm gonna be honest, it's very similar. We got the freeze shower gel, which I love. Now, that one's minty in a peppermint way. This one's minty in more of a spearmint way, but it's similar because the mintiness is very, very strong and overpowers a lot of the other scents. But I do really like the way that that smells, and I'm super excited to use it. It'll be so fun to have like a little green shower gel that looks perfect for. I don't know. It's even good for Christmas because it's green, so that's super awesome. Now, this is 250 grams. Obviously, in the United States, we don't use grams, so um, comparably, I think this was like 8.4 ounces is the size. I'm not 100% sure, um, but a comparable shower gel would be about $22.95 for this if you were to purchase from Lush. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Look at it. This is the Wizard Bubble Bar. Um, now, obviously, because this is not in a packaging, I can't really read what scents it has, so I don't know how to ex explain it. It smells like Lush meets spices. Like Lush, like take the smell of a Lush store and a spice drawer, or like a spice cabinet, and mix those two together. That's what this smells like. It smells really, really good, and it is so cute. So this is the Wizard Bubble Bar. Now, obviously, it's harder to compare bath bombs and bubble bars online because there's not like a definitive size. But I took like the price of all like pyramid cone-shaped bubble bars and averaged them. And that would, the average was $7.95 for something like this. Granted, I don't know, that might not be accurate, but I'm just trying to put some sort of a value price on it so you can see how much the retail is versus what you paid. But that one smells really good. I really, really like that, and it is so cute. The next thing out is a bath bomb, and this is the Skullduggery Bath Bomb. Oh, this has one of more, they're more like sweet scents. They're sweet traditional scents. I can't tell you what's in it. Honestly, I'm so bad at describing scents if it's not written out for me, but it's so cute. I'm wondering if there are like maybe some like inlays inside that will make more color when it, you know, like you place it in your bath, but that is so cute. I think I'm gonna use this tonight, tonight's bath night, and I just think that this is the bath bomb I'll be using. Um, so again, this is really hard to like, Ver like verify price wise since it's not actually on the website. So I just said probably around $7.95 I would estimate for this compared to like other bath bombs. Could be wrong, but just trying to give an estimate. But it smells really good. I'm super excited about that. 
So the next thing out is actually a bar of soap. That's what it looks like. That is not mold, by the way. I'm pretty sure that's because this was rubbed up against this the whole time in transit. So I think that just rubbed off on it. <laughs> um, but this is their pumpkin spice soap. And let me tell you, it does smell like pumpkin spice. It smells really, really good. It doesn't smell like pastry pumpkin spice. Like a lot of times when you think of pumpkin spice, you think of like pumpkin spice muffin, like super sweet. This has a more natural scent to it, which I truly appreciate. So a bar of soap this size would also retail for $7.95. That's a pretty more obvious like guess because most of their soap is that way, but it has like lush imprinted on it and it smells like pumpkin spice. And this will be so fun to wash my hands with. And the next thing out is a shower jelly, and this is the Calacas shower jelly. So it's a wobbly handful scented with uplifting neroli and softening caragnenin. Carag I don't know how to say that. K-A-R-R-A-G-E-E-N-A-N. Caragnenin? I have no idea, honestly. Now this did look like it leaked a little bit, but it did ship overseas. This is 100 grams. Um, and I would say this is probably about $8.95 average. Um, and this one actually has a face. <laughs> so let me try to get it out and not make a complete mess. So Jack, who's, I guess, one of the people involved, I don't know a lot about Lush, but he says, my inspiration for the Calacas was the Dia de los Muertos, Mexico's Day of the Dead Festival. The uplifting lime and neroli scented seemed to be perfect to tribute to vibrant celebration and a life of spirituality. I don't know what's up or down, but do you see the face? I don't know if I'm showing that right. Maybe it goes, I think it goes this way, actually. Ah, am I showing it? I don't want to drop it. I'm really good at like plutzing and dropping things. Ooh, that smells really, really good. Okay, let's put you back in your home because I, that, I'm gonna mess that up. And now I need to wash my hands. It does have, it is like soapy. So let me wash my hands really quick. That smelled really, really good. That, that, my hands like smell like lime now. I, I love Lush scents. They're very, different from any other scents that you know you get and, and other bath or body products. So the total retail value of all of that, all again, a lot of these are, are guest prices, was $55.75. I paid $66.54. So, you know, it kind of, there is a deficit there. But that being said, I don't feel like I wasted my money because that was such a fun themed box. I'm super excited that this was kind of themed towards Halloween and I'm hoping they do like a Christmas theme box and I, I kind of like the idea and I know that a lot of other bath boxes do themes each month which Lush doesn't do but it would kind of be cool if they did that. I think it would be more exciting that way. But I don't know. I thought this was super awesome. I'm super excited to use all of the products and not a single scent I dislike this month. That lotion last month, um, I didn't love the scent of it. I still don't and I'm using it because it's their lotions are super amazing, but I just don't love the scent. So I'm trying to get over that and just use it because it was a huge pot of it. Um, but I really love all of it this month. So definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What do you think of this month's box? Um, and I'll see you in my next video.